uh, this one says an electron moves with velocity of 2.5 times 10 to the 8 centimeters per second. What is its wavelength? And then it gives the mass of an electron as being 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. So in order to figure out the wavelength from the mass and velocity, you have to use de Broglie's equation. Okay, so if you guys remember it, write that down. First thing, so wavelength equals Planck's constant divided by the mass times the velocity. Okay, and we have all of that stuff. Remember, Planck's constant I have to give to you. It's not something that you're going to be memorizing. The one thing that you do have to know, though, is that joules is a derived unit. If you don't remember that, you're not going to be able to do this problem. Okay. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, remember, just like I just said, joules is a derived unit. So, let's take it from joules to what it's derived from. So, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34. Now joules, what did we say was kilograms meters squared per second squared, like that, right? But it's also multiplied by seconds, okay? So we've got to multiply that by seconds on the numerator, like that. Okay, so now one divided by mass, right? So we've got the mass in kilograms already, so that's good. One divided by 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. And then one divided by velocity, right? So that's just the inverse of what we have here, right? So on the top, we're going to put what? Very good. One second. 2.5 times 10 to the 8 centimeters on the bottom. Okay, so now let's try to cancel out stuff. Okay. So kilograms with kilograms, seconds with one of the seconds, the other seconds here with the other seconds here. Now we got meters squared divided by centimeters, right? So we're going to have to convert the centimeters to meters. Okay, so let's do that. You guys remember how many centimeters there are in a meter? 100. 100 centimeters, one meter. So cancel, cancel, right? Cancel meters with one of the meters. And I want, did it tell us to put this? Okay, it doesn't say what units to put it in. So wavelengths in meters, that's a good unit for a length, right? Does everybody agree with that? So this would be an O whole right unit to use. Okay, so So let's just let's just convert this to let's convert this to nanometers because ten to the negative ten that doesn't you know let's convert it to something that kind of is along the lines of what we know. Remember, visible light is from like uh, four hundred to eight hundred nanometers, right? So let's convert it to nanometers, okay? Because everybody's like ten to the negative ten. Let's 
Let's just convert it to nanometers just for fun. So how many nanometers are in a meter? Do you guys remember? Uh-huh, 10 to the 9. So 10 to the 9 something that is something we're more familiar with. That's more kind of a reasonable number. Point two nine. Okay. Questions on this one? Pretty straightforward.